Before we can talk about equity versus equality, I want to first define diversity. At Inclusive Communities, we like to say diversity in its simplest definition means differences. We all have differences, from our glasses to our weight to how much money we have. That is diversity, and no matter how much people say it's hard to find diversity, that's not true. Diversity exists. It's about taking the time to acknowledge its existence and work to ensure action is taken to embrace these differences, not alienate them. Equality is often equated to fairness and sameness and is based in the misconception that we all have the same needs and the same solution will work for everyone. Equity is based in access and opportunity with the understanding that we each start with different advantages and disadvantages and thus have different needs to attain access and opportunity. To understand equity, we have to compare it to equality. Now, I love this equity versus equality graphic as it's the best explanation of the difference between the two. On the equality side, you see that we've got three individuals, our tall guy, our short girl, and our friend in the wheelchair. And you see that they're all trying to watch this baseball game, but there's this fence. With equality, they've each been given a box to use to be able to see the game. But obviously that's not working because our tall friend is now super tall and sees very clearly over the fence, while our short girl can just barely see and she's still kind of on her tiptoes and struggling to see the game, while the person in the wheelchair can't see it all and they can't even get on the box. On the equity side of this picture, you can see that now we've given each individual exactly what they need to be able to see the game. The person in the wheelchair has a ramp so they can clearly get to the top and see the full game. The shorter girl has two boxes, which is what she needed to comfortably be able to see, and the tall person has no boxes at all because they didn't need the extra assistance in the first place. Equity is a process, which means it is continuous. We can't gain equity by changing just one thing. For example, the equity side of this photo shows our friend in the wheelchair has gained equity at this fence, but the work is not done. True progressive equity is about how can we ensure that he has equitable opportunities at all of the hypothetical and real fences in his life. Equity requires power, resources, and social responsibility to work hand in hand to change the structures and provide opportunities to those who were institutionally left out marginalized or oppressed. Equity is hard, but it's essential for us to make change in the lives of those who have been historically depicted as less than. From individuals with disabilities like physical, developmental, and mental, to people living in poverty without access to food or education or health care, it's important for us to understand that there is a long history of discrimination which has created the present day inequities which don't allow these individuals the same access to opportunity than those who don't have those differences. One of the greatest gifts that we give to students that we work with is the opportunity to share their story and to find value in their voice. And this increases awareness and a sense of empowerment. Everyone has their own stuff. Everyone is going through something that challenges their emotional and physical capacity to be great, but there is power in connection. So now here's your challenge. Be brave and seek out those opportunities to have authentic conversations with those that are different than you. Find out what makes them unique and what brings them joy. Then you do the same. Share your story, because you have value as well. Now you've built community. And with community, we have power. We is always stronger than me.